Snakes are fascinating creatures with many species found all over the world. In this video, we'll be exploring what snake tracks look like and how you can identify them. There are five main types of snake movements on land, side winding, lateral undulations, rectilinear, concertina, and side pushing. The type of track a snake leaves behind depends on its body shape, size, and the terrain it's moving on. Side winding is one of the most dramatic types of snake tracks and is used when crawling over unstable, slippery, or smooth surfaces. This type of movement is seen in species like the sidewinder rattlesnake in North America and in viper species found in regions of extensive sand dunes. Lateral undulation is a classic type of snake track where the snake sends waves of muscular action down its body towards the tail. This type of movement is usually seen in areas with objects like plants, stones, sticks, or uneven ground. Rectilinear tracks are more or less straight lines, usually left behind by larger and heavier bodied snakes in areas of relatively open ground. In this movement, the snake uses its belly scales to move. Concertina tracks are different from the other types of tracks, with the snake pulling up its body into bends and straightening after the curves. This type of movement is most effective in narrow passages, tunnels, or climbing and is rare to come across. Finally, side pushing is a type of movement that leaves broad and wide tracks as the snake pushes its body in large undulations in a sliding and sideways direction. Knowing what snake tracks look like and how to identify them can help you better understand these creatures and how they move. And if you come across snake tracks in your yard or garden, it's important to stay safe and seek help from a professional.